Hello viewers, welcome to AgriRiches TV and I must say that today we have a huge package for you. But let's not forget that we are in the month of love, the season of love, February. And today I'm going to be interviewing one of the greatest personalities that we have in the hospitality sector in the person of Mr. David Ediafo. And he is the MD, that's the Managing Director for Labadi Beach Hotel. We'll be interviewing him shortly um, on AgroRiches TV. So join us right here. Please don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. We have more for you. My name is Prince Opoku Dogbe and I'll be your host. So welcome back to AgroHC TV and as I said earlier, we have with us the Managing Director for Labadi Beach Hotel in the person of Mr. David Ediafo. Welcome sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for granting us this interview and then your hospitality nature as well and then giving us the platform to interview you right here at the Labadi Beach Hotel. Thank you. Yeah, so uh, let me start with the awards you won last year. Um, mm. Last year, you were awarded by the Ghana Hotel Association as one of the best hotels in Ghana, mm. and then you won the five star hotel, and then also the most digitalized hotel as well as the most secure hotel. Yeah. So, let me ask you this first question What are the, some of the unique features or the standards and measures that you have put in place as a marine director to win these prestigious awards? Right, um, as you can see here, you are in the beautiful property, the Body Beach Hotel, is the most, uh, what I say is Ghana's most indigenous yeah. five-star yeah. hotel. Uh, we have been in existence for 31 years, over three decades. This year in August, uh, it's 2023, we will be 32 years oh, okay. in existence. Uh, this hotel has character. It has stood the test of time. It's, it's, a, it's a property that I would say is timeless, okay? Our guests are very loyal. They are, would I say, it's like a family-oriented hotel. Okay. So you have guests who stay here or have stayed here before, and their children or their families also patronize us. Okay. Now, if I have to go back to the awards, we do what is right here in Labadi Beach Hotel. We do what is right. That is why we maintain all these people. That is why I took you back to the history how people stay here their families also stay here and then their children we have we have guests who whose parents used to bring them when they were kids now they have taken over they are also coming here so that tells you something it tells you that there's something unique about labadi beach hotel it's about the people the staff we have staff who have stayed here or who have been with us for 30 years myself i have been with this property for 30 years wow. So that, that, that speaks volumes. So the experience combined, the stuff we have, the experience combined, nobody can touch that. Okay. So let's go back to uh, the issue of the committed or honest staff. Uh, last year, mm -hmm. you were interviewed and you made mention that uh, the, uh, the DNA of honesty I mean, is hammered into the DNA of the staff. So aside honesty, mm -hmm. What do you think um, are the core values of this organization? The staff here are committed to what they do. They have the experience. If you go to my kitchen right now, and I have to tell you this, we have the best food in this wow. in this town. Yeah. The Badi Beach Hotel has the best food. Our executive chef, Gary, he is the only executive chef who has stayed on for 16 years in the property. Okay. He has been with us for 16 years. And that tells you uh, the kind of quality that you expect in our, our, our service. Okay. If you go to my kitchen, as I said already, the average length of service is 15 years. Okay. Average length of service. And if you do the math, it tells you the kind of experience that the people put into the job and the, and the enthusiasm and the belief in themselves that they put into the job. If you don't have that kind of motivation, you are not able to be in the hospitality for long. In the hospitality industry, you have to have passion. You have to have the experience. And above all, you have to be motivated because you are seven people. 
you are serving people from diverse uh, 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 backgrounds. Diverse. People come here from different places and they, they have experience as well. They, 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 they are sophisticated. And if you are not motivated and you, are not, you don't have the experience yourself, you are not able to serve them to the best of your ability. Mm -hmm. So um, it's one area that we do very well, uh, staff motivation okay. and, and uh, also the training wise. So it, 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 it runs through the DNA of the staff, of the team here. Okay. Choosing the hospitality sector, I mean, it's yeah. one sector that is very, very, very um, busy. You have a lot of busy schedules. Mm. So how, you, how are you able to blend your professional life <laughs> it's it's not easy, but you have to. It's um, it's over. It, over time, you get used to it, and your family will get used to used to it. You you just have to 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 kind of um, to um, manage the situation. Yes, I spend all my time here in this business. I spend all my time here. So within a week, how many uh, how many days you spend with your family? Well, I go home, so I see them. But uh, within the week, maybe once, maybe Sundays, then I am home, or even Saturdays, depending on what the activity here is. But mostly, I would say mostly Saturdays, I'm home. But Sundays, I'm here. So they get to see me on Saturdays. But you see, the good thing is, I have, I have a very understanding family. And they, 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 they love what I do. So it's not a problem. You should have that rapport with your family and then once they buy into what you do you don't have an issue yes i will say one thing when i was a junior staff some time back i used to work at reception i don't work to expect something from a guest but if you give out your best the guest willingly will be so happy that he will tip you and those days you know i used to save my tips <laughs> to do something unique something for myself like, uh, yeah. and then i it, it's it's motivation it's it's a joy so this industry is unique uh it's human centered okay. you work with human beings you work with people that you don't know they are coming to you some of them they come to seek um happiness to seek recreation they come here to recreate so you need to you need to give them that joy because it's not easy to just part with money to just relax and and enjoy the serenity of the place. The staff are the key. If they don't, um, you know, give out their best and the best of service to the guests, the guests will not enjoy the stay. And that goes against the hotel. So that yeah. takes me back to your profile. Uh, you serve as the head of sales and marketing right here. And over yeah. to the front office manager, if I'm right. Okay, so let me give you my portfolio. Yeah. I used to be the, uh, the rooms divisions manager here. Oh, okay. okay. And then I moved to head of sales and marketing. Okay. okay. And then I moved to executive assistant. Okay. And then I became the hotel manager. So that's quite interesting. And that's inspiring. <laughs> so uh, yeah, at the Labadi Beach Hotel, I mean, um, mm. agriculture is one thing that you cannot do away because you have, I mean, a nice restaurant out there here at the beach. So tell me, what are some of the major agriculture activities that you patronize here? Uh, I told you from the beginning, we have the best quality food in Accra. Here in the city, we, we we do catering for all the big events, the presidency, name it. We do the big events. Big events. Food in Labadi Beach Hotel is number one. Okay. So we get the best products. The most is it locally made or locally produced. Then we're talking about vegetables. Vegetables form majority of our consumption in the kitchen. Rice is also a major part of it but unfortunately most of the rice that we, we we have on the market are from our side so but for us in labadi we believe in the local produce so vegetables um, fruits we get our locally uh, produce and quality ones so we are fan of agriculture because with that and we, we love the the the, the, uh, the the natural ones which we call the, uh, the the organic yeah we go organic yeah. So for us, agriculture, we cannot do without it because otherwise we cannot serve the kitchen. So we believe in that. But there should be more agricultural uh, uh, production. Uh, production in this country so that we will be sufficient, food sufficient 
and so we don't rely on importation of uh, um, other things from uh, other countries. Yes, I believe strongly that we can do better to improve the agriculture sector in this country so that hotels like Labadi will rely solely on the local products because we believe in the local content. Because Labadi itself is a local hotel. If I say local, we, we are probably local, but we are fiercely global. Yes. And I believe in that. Proudly local, fiercely global. Ghana is a unique place. And uh, for me, I think it's, it's, uh, the hospitality in Ghana is growing. You see what happened in December. This de December, this place was packed. It's, it's amazing. So uh, let's do more to encourage and to promote hospitality. And most importantly, to promote agriculture. agriculture yeah. yeah. Thank you very much. Always a pleasure. Always so, a pleasure. We'll be speaking with the managing director. That's the MD for Labadi Beach Hotel. And we are much grateful to have him here on Agroity TV. Meet you same time next week. We'll come along your way with a huge personality in the agribusiness sector. Thank you.